with the city of Westlake came together with a ribbon cutting ceremony celebrating their new police department headquarters building. The new facility is located on Southbridge Avenue and city officials say it's better to have the building close to downtown for community services, improving response times and safety. Officers say they are leaving an over 40 year old building and has outgrown its use. It's going to be good community policing, uh, give a, a more sense of a safer, safer neighborhood, environment, so we're excited about that. Officers officially moved in on Friday. And Texas is proposing the reconstruction of Highway 77 from FM 507 in Harlingen to FM 510 in San Benito. The project will consist of widening the road, raising the median, and adding a bicycle and pedestrian lane. The project would also improve bridges crossing the Arroyo Colorado and Resaca de los Fresnos. There will be an in-person open house meeting next Tuesday at Miller Jordan Middle School. It's from 5 to 7 p.m. And if you would like more information, call the number you see on your screen. And the McAllen ISD board has chosen current Brownsville ISD Superintendent Rene Gutierrez as its lone finalist for its superintendent position. By law, the board must wait 21 days before negotiating a contract with Gutierrez. Gutierrez will now replace Dr. Rosalba de Hoyos, who became the interim superintendent for McAllen ISD back in August. And if you're a coffee lover like me, you're going to want all the details of this next event, Danielle. Once again, with a, such a great, supporting a great cause with such a great event at the same time. You beat me to it. I was going to ask you, are you a fan of coffee? But you Every are. Every morning. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. I see you with the really cool cups in the newsroom. But you know what, Natasha? Because you love coffee, you're going to love this event. It's a chance to indulge in delicious coffee while enjoying the company of our local law enforcement. You see, the dedicated men and women serving our San Benito Police Department work year-round to keep those of us in our community safe. And so, you know, now is our time to support them. But that only starts when we know who these incredibly brave individuals are behind the badge. So how can you get to know those who serve our community? Well, you can go to this event. It's called Coffee with a Cop because it's all geared at helping local families meet and greet with police officers and staff. And it's all going down tomorrow from 530 in the evening to 730. And we're going to be able to connect over a good old cup of joe all in good fun. It's a casual type of event, so no worries about getting all dressed up or bringing anything with you. I mean, it it is just an evening to enjoy the company of those in uniform and, and think about it. I mean, there are so many aspects of the job that we might not quite be familiar with. So, I mean, if this is the perfect opportunity, uh, it, it, it really is. I mean, if you want to ask any questions, this is the place to do it. It's also a great chance for us to, you know, have a relaxed conversation with officers about any issues that we might be facing that, you know, mean a lot to us and might affect our local community, especially if you live in the San Benito area. I mean, all in all, it's just a great way to network and meet those who have help to keep us safe and informed. So it's going to be a great time. I'm telling you again, it's happening tomorrow evening and everybody's invited to join in on the coffee deliciousness. And you can check out the city of San Benito.com for all the info so that you can make plans on joining the table. I'm so excited about this. Now, Jessica, I have to say Natasha's actually been to one of these events, yeah. so I think we should ask her what she thinks. Yeah, it was actually <laughs> coffee and ice cream basically. Oh. So I got to get some, enjoy some ice cream, talk to some people, wow. the community was also out there. It was really, really fun. Was it coffee? Wow. And ice cream, avocado. Style? Well, it was no, it was like at an ice cream shop. Okay, okay. So they gave her coffee, and you can get your ice cream for the little ones and me, of course. Oh, that's <laughs> great. Yeah. So for people who don't even necessarily enjoy coffee, there's still opportunities for yeah. them to go out, enjoy time with the community, enjoy time that. with the cops, and maybe even if there's mm -hmm. not ice cream, still sounds like a good yeah. social event. Yeah. Getting in with the community. So even if you're not a big coffee fan, okay. Danielle's not a big yeah. coffee mm -hmm. fan, right? But Natasha and I are. So cool. It's she for got me everybody. Into it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. I have a nice little coffee <laughs> machine that I recommended she get. So now That's we so both cool. come in with our coffee. I have a whole coffee station at home. Yeah. You name That's it. so funny. Yeah, me too. You guys have your beautiful <laughs> glasses. Do you switch them out every day? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. But it's a great opportunity to meet, you know, who keeps you safe in the community, especially for the little ones. Yes, yeah. that's great. Makes great. Sure. Well, thank you so much, Danielle. Mm -hmm. It is football season and hunting season, and doctors have a warning for you to help take